Hey guys, how are you? Okay, so I hate to say it, and I hope I don't sound ridiculous, but if Dyson sent me something, I wouldn't know a thing. No, just kidding. Okay, so let's start from the beginning about this Dyson and how it has worked me. Okay, first of all, I've been researching, 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 following all the blogs, following all of the uh, texture uh, uh, gurus and everything, trying to figure out what kind of dryer I need. Finally figured it out. Settled, it's going to be the Dyson. They have this new rollout for this Afro attachment, everything. Okay, so I'm going to buy. That's the dryer I'm going to buy. I knew they was going to have a Black Friday sale called and it looks like it was get to uh attachments for free or something so i tried to i was going to get the um supersonic then uh, i wanted it in gold but the lady couldn't figure out figure it out and couldn't get my uh, order right so um she, and then come and i thought she had placed it but a friend of mine told me well maybe you need to call back because the gold kind of flakes off Okay, fine. So, uh, I called back and come to find out the order wasn't even placed because um, they didn't have it in stock. And she didn't even say that. And so, anyway, so I was going to get the professional at this time since I wasn't going to get the gold a trimming. Anyway, um, tried to place my order with her again, back order, out of stock, whatever. So, I, I knew that Black Friday, that was the day before Black Friday. So, Neiman's had it um, in their store. And so, I was like, okay, fine. I have a $100 gift card. Plus, I know they're going to have a Black Friday sale. So, let's go to Neiman's. Go to Neiman's uh, Black Friday. And they had an extra $50 off anything over $200. So, okay, I had a $100 gift card. Because they gave it to me for, if, if you spend the amount of money, you get a hundred dollars uh, or a gift card, stuff like that. But anyway, I had two of them. Well, apparently, and then I got the fifty dollars off uh, for Black Friday because fifty dollars of anything over two hundred. So that to me in my head, I'm getting hundred fifty dollars off. That's gonna make the drive two fifty. Fine, I'll get it. Boom. Um, get there. I see it. It did not have the comb attachment, and it just had. It was not in the case. It was just in the stand. On the stand, I said fine, whatever. Um. Uh, I'll just order it since I'm getting it at 250 and I was expecting to pay 400 anyway I'll just order the comb attachment and the case and because they, I thought they were having a Black Friday sale That's fine. So I go and I try to order uh, The parts and I order it online. I order the afro attachment that they've been advertising for afro hair and I order uh, the case Anyway, wait on it no case. Wait on it. No afro attachment. Wait on it. Wait on it. Wait up. Nothing. Okay. So, and no one has told me that it's on back order or anything. That's what I just found. Well, it's what I found out. So, um, I called, well, last Sunday I washed my hair and my husband's looking at me upside my head because I'm using my old dryer and he's like, you have a $400 dryer. Why are you not using it? And so I was like, well, because I don't have it. Uh, I, mean, I can't use it. I don't have the afro attachment because I need the afro attachment uh, comb attachment for the blowout because that's what I do. I use the perm rods and I blow out whatever. Anyway, so I couldn't use it. And so I, I felt away because he was looking at me upside my head and because I want to use it. So I called and I figured I, I find out it's on back order. And then they're telling me, and this is a week or so into it, uh, 10 days into it. This is 10 days into it uh, since I bought the dryer and since I made the purchase. And uh, online it said it'll be delivered within 10 days or whatever. So this is the 10th day. I don't even have a delivery receipt or or, or, or tracking receipt, nothing. So I call and I find out it's on back order. It's going to be another two to three weeks. Oh, no. Because I'm not going to wait another two to three weeks to use a dryer that's $400. Uh, I'm just not going to do it. So, sis went off. Off. So, I get uh, a call. I expect the manager. Go off. Because I had called earlier that day. And that's when she told me that it was on back order for two, three weeks. Uh-uh. Let me speak to your manager. Because I had to go on lunch break so I could really say what I need to say. So, I could say some colorful words. You know what I'm saying? So, um, went on my lunch break, called the manager, 
go off. The manager was very polite. She was a nice girl. She listened. She understood. Uh, told her what I bought, why I bought it, why I bought the extra attachments, everything. I didn't get, uh, oh, I didn't even tell y'all that Neiman's didn't give me that hundred dollars. We'll get back to that. But anyway, um, oh, did I tell you? I don't know. I'll tell you again if I didn't. Anyway, so, uh, at, at the end of the day, sis, come to me for the, um, for the case and the APRA attachment. So, with that being said, I present to you right now the APRA attachment. So, I'll unbox it while I talk about this hundred, the $100 that Nima's going to tell me that it expired and I should have used it. I said, oh, no, 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 no. And so, again, I had to go off. And in the store, they did not give it to me. They treated me to lunch, which was nice. But uh, when I got home and I realized I had ordered something from Nemus and the order was wrong, it was too much. I called in there and went off. Didn't have my hundred. You got my order wrong. Da 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 da. Turns out, sis gave me my money, so I did get the money off. Anyway, this is this Afro attachment. I am about to go downstairs and check it out. So I'm going to bring y'all with me. I'm going to wash my hair first. And then I'll bring you guys with me. So um, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys. Y'all ready? Because I'm ready. Okay, let's see about this dryer. There it is right there. So let me get it. Hold on one second. Shout out and drop my phone. Let me get the whole set up. Okay, so I got the whole set up so y'all can see everything. This is the cooling pad, I guess. So I'm put that there and I'm gonna unplug it. I've never used it because of course you remember I didn't have the um, Afro attachment. So I am going to plug this up. Okay, let's look at it first. Okay, so I have the supersonic. It's really sleek, it's really pretty. It's like a pewter gray. It's very sleek. And they said that the uh, motor was down in here, so the motor's not here, so it's not heavy when you're blow drying because your arm gets tired. All up in here, I get tired. And I blow dry for over an hour. So that's why I wanted to invest in a good dryer. So let's uh, see. Let's see what the features are. Okay, so there's a cool button. Up and down looks like. Looks like it has three settings for the fan. I guess uh, low, blow, medium, and high. Then three settings for the heat. Low, medium, and high, I guess. They have different attachments, diffusers, and all that. But you know who we came to see. Where is this Afro attachment? Don't tell me. Give me a, just a second, y'all. Let, I left the Afro attachment upstairs. I mean, okay, I'm back. Okay. Okay, so let me see how this thing's supposed to go. Uh, that was nice. That was neat. It just, it just clicked right on. I'm gonna turn it on just to see something. Hold on one second. Oh, oh it feels good. Okay, so these teeth, look how they move. The, um, okay. It looks good, y'all. It sounds good. It's not loud. Uh, it does make noise, but it's not loud. And it looks like, um, there's some ergonomics going on here with these teeth. And they look really strong, flexible, so I hope that you know when it's going through the hair they don't break that's what it looks like that they're built not to because they give it they have a little gear this way okay okay so we're gonna see let's I get a started okay let's see this first little section all right I've already detangled it I've washed my hair uh, conditioned and detangled it's fresh, so a little bit more um, leave-in conditioner, a little bit more. 
and a little I'm sorry just a little just to wet it back up but anyway this is aloe vera juice so just to wet it back up a little bit more okay I'm gonna pull this up and rinse my brush go back through it so I was reading that guy Gerara I think that's his name he does Solange's hair and he was telling how to do it and he was just saying put a little leave in and a little bit of oil if your hair needs it and my hair always needs oil speaking of oil I when I went upstairs I did check my view and I noticed that my highlight is just going crazy but that's okay because we nothing to do it over so it is what it is so I don't know I like to play in makeup dibble and dabble I put a little oil on there and then I'm going to put, well, he didn't say leave-in condition, but I know that. He just said a little oil and a little heat protectant. So, of course. And um, I was at Sephora the other, no, Ulta the other day. And they gave me these little bio silks. And so, I thought I'd try it. I actually have a big one, but since they gave me these for free, I thought I'd try it. And I, you know I'm heavy-handed and I'm always putting too much, so... Let's see. Let's see how this go, y'all. Y'all ready? Okay. Look, I need to stop uh, combing it and just get it done. Okay. Let's go. Let's see. <sighs> oh, the pass-through is real good, y'all. Okay. Girl. Oh, my God. That's easy. Oh. time on my phone because this look like it's it's not gonna take long at all oh my god okay I am going to start this timer I told you I take it take over an hour for me to do my hair but this is how quick that was and I know I did a million pass throughs but okay but I'm gonna start it now no what is this cancel let's do I don't know how do I do oh stopwatch start okay I'm gonna see y'all I'm gonna twist this right quick and I'm gonna see how long it takes me let me I'm gonna show y'all one more round of the pastor it was so easy to go through my hair I girl y'all know I got my hair cut a couple of months ago you know it's grew out already it's growing it's growing like crazy so that's good but I kind of love, well, I kind of, I did. I loved my um, cut. So I'm going to have to go back. But you know I went to New York. So I wish I could find somebody in Houston. I got a girl. She's real nice. I like her. She does good hair. But I'm just so nervous about cuts, honey. So I was like, oh, I got to go to the very best. Oh, my God. I got to go to the best. So um, but maybe I'll try her. I don't know, but I loved Jay's cut. So I'm putting a little 
oil on it. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Y'all know that, right? So don't be judging me in these comments about, oh, don't do this, don't do that. Mind your business. Let me do my thing. Okay, and I'm going to put some heat protectant on it. Y'all gonna have to see this pass through one more time. Cause baby, it was so good. Okay, let me detangle it. Cause my hair is a mess. All right, let's get started. Here we go. Look at, so look how easy this girl. Look how easy this goes through your hair. Oh, y'all. I love it. I love it. You can get a little thick. Girl, it's like butter coming through here. Y'all. tell y'all the pass through is beautiful it's so easy it's so easy it's not heavy in your hand it goes so quick drying your hair I, I I'm almost going to say it's going to put it in uh, going to uh, cut it in half but we're going to see so I'll let y'all see how that section when you see this section is done so I'm going to finish up these other sections I have eight sections so I'll get back with y'all to see what y'all think. I mean, oh, so I can tell y'all what I think about the final thing. And I'm three minutes in. So let me uh, finish this up and I'll get back with y'all, okay? All right. Guys, I just wanted to come in and tell y'all that I'm almost through my hair and we are, well, I'm halfway through, I don't want to say, 22 minutes in. Girl, do you, listen. I just stopped to tell y'all my time, but oh my God, girl, this $400 is already worth it. Uh, well, two fifty. dollars but I'll get back with you. I just want it with 23 minutes, 23 minutes. Just want to tell y'all. Okay, so let me get back at it. I'll let y'all know in a minute. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, I'm completely done with my hair. 43 minutes it took me 43 minutes and I was marveling so I'm gonna take I'm a I'm gonna say I spent an extra five six minutes well, let's say three or four just uh marveling over my hair but it is completely dry 43 minutes in and uh my hair feels really good um it's gotten really straight and you know how you can uh, blow dry your hair and then it starts puffing up it wasn't doing any of, any of that like it immediately started puffing up mm -mm. didn't do any of it oh shit I'm brushing it with a wet brush oh shoot <laughs> but um look at my hair guys this is my blow dried blown hair in 43 minutes that by itself and you know what too i was just i was um kept going through and uh, go through and go through and go through pass through pass through pass through truth be told it probably only took two three maybe four 
pass-throughs and it was dry but you know how you're so used to something that you just don't know you just don't know so I, I just kept passing through I just kept passing through so well y'all this is my hair blow dried in 43 minutes and I'm sure it could have took a lot less had I known how many pass-throughs I needed to do and had I known uh, to stop marveling at my hair. So I'm gonna say it took I'm gonna let's eat let's call it and say 40 minutes. It took me 40 minutes. So that at least took 20, 30, because I it takes me over an hour to to uh part and get my hair together. So this is my hair. Blow dry. What y'all think? It's straight, it looks good, it's not poofing back up this is just my th it takes me so long because see how thick this mess is it's just thick and so um this is it i'm excited okay review <sighs> the dryer itself very light first of all the aesthetic is very pretty it's a pretty dry it's a nice pewter color with this beautiful um purpley pink um uh, color uh great ergonomic oh look i want to tell y'all let's look no hair pull outs nothing nothing to pull out so that's awesome uh let me see my brush and this is the winter time and i had some uh shedding but let me show y'all what i got here and shoot did i uh this it and this is probably normal uh for um uh, come out or come uh, here because it's winter time and I'm shedding but um, Yeah, this is it. It took me 40 minutes. I love this dryer for that reason alone and I'm going to Braid it up and I'm going to go and um, Well, I'll, I'll braid it later. I'm gonna go and have me some dinner because it's probably still warm because I told my husband I didn't want it because I'm doing my hair and I don't know how long it's going to take. So it's probably still warm. So, end of the review. Love it. Is it worth the $400? Yes. Um, uh, I don't know how long it's going to last. I hope it lasts a long time. I hope it. I get my $400 worth out of it. But for right now, I feel like I'm going to get my $400 worth out of it just for my time. I absolutely love this dry and I am not being sponsored or anything. I just want to try to dry because I, I've been invested in my hair care and I want to make sure that I'm getting things that are uh, uh, helping me to with time management with everything. So I'm loving it. I am loving this dryer worth every penny. Okay. All right. Bye.